in medical news, we're going to tell you about new evidence that is simple but very powerful, a tool for achieving what you want in life. There is a new report finding 40% of us now are turning to alternative treatments, especially meditation. And Dan Harris asked the questions about the growing proof that that works. Yes. Meditation, once considered supremely flaky, is now being used by the Marines, by corporate executives from General Mills to Target to Google, by students in classrooms all over America, and now, according to this new study, by roughly three million patients on the recommendation of their doctors. We weren't expecting to see such a high rate of referrals. That was really surprising to us. Dr. Rex Hoffman recommended meditation to his patient, Danilo Ramirez, who had stage two lymphoma and was too claustrophobic to endure the treatments, which required wearing this large radiation mask. It worked. It was beautiful that my mind was able to control my heartbeat, my breathing, my relaxation. I see us using it more, more with our patients. The awareness of the breath. Researchers say meditation doesn't just relax you, it can physically change your brain. Earlier this year, a Harvard study looked at people who took a mere eight-week course in meditation and found that these two parts of their brains associated with self-awareness and compassion actually grew, while this part associated with stress shrank. There are lots of different kinds of meditation, but the kind most doctors recommend does not involve wearing robes, chanting, lighting incense, or joining a religious group. What it does involve is three very basic steps. Step number one, sit comfortably. Step number two, focus on your breath. Feel it going in and out. Step number three, when your mind wanders, which it will a million times, to things like, did I feed the dog, where are my keys, and what am I having for dinner, every time your mind wanders, just gently return to your breath. I've interviewed corporate executives who say meditation has made them more focused and effective, and one rock star who says it cured his stage fright. If I wasn't meditating, if I still had so much stage fright, I might still be in my shell. That's a pretty big change. So those people who had the good part of their brain plumped up, how long did they meditate a day? Just 30 minutes a day. And there's some indication that if you do less, it will still work. And there's also all sorts of fascinating studies that show that meditation can reduce your blood pressure, boost your immune system, and even make you nicer. Nicer. My wife is encouraging me to try that. Yeah.
what led me to Tai Chi, um, eight, uh, say February the 6th, I had a stroke. My whole right side was paralyzed, and um, I'm getting most of my movements back with a little pain, not as much since I've been taking Tai Chi. Mm -hmm. It's really been beneficial to me. So you've really noticed some mobility? Changes? I've noticed a huge, tremendous change physically and mentally. Three years ago, I was diagnosed with diabetes type 2 and began a regimen of um, insulin once a day. I was started out at uh, 20 units of insulin per day and then gradually watched my diet, did my walking, and got it down to 18 units. And then last December 2012, I started the Tai Chi. And by April 2013, my doctor took me off of insulin. And since that time, I have lost 20 pounds. And I have to say, I believe part of it is to the Tai Chi class I've been taking. My name is Margaret Margie Abarca. I'm 65 years old and in better health than I've been in a long time, thanks to Tai Chi. At any rate, um, I kept, kept up with the Tai Chi and then uh, had a blood test and all of a sudden my A1C was hanging in around 6.7, 6.8. So the doctor started cutting back on some of the medications. And then about a year after that, we had, had another blood test, and my A1C had dropped to 4.6. And my doctor decided that time to really start getting rid of some medications. That's about the story. So, uh, so where are you studying Tai Chi now? I'm studying at a turning point. They've got a real good program going there with a, a really good instructor. Named Bill Douglas. <laughs> Thank you, Al. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate that.